Hey everyone, and welcome back to uh, Mini Micro FPV. Uh, so today I'm taking a look at the uh, Freewell Standard Day 4-Pack ND filter set for the Insta360 GO 2. And I've been uh, waiting to get this since I got the camera in, and finally they've arrived. So this is what comes in the package. Looks like you get a set of four filters. These are ND8 up to ND64, and a little cleaning cloth, little stickers as well. So let's see, this is a little magnetic uh, carrying case. So this is good to have. And then when you remove just the standard uh, lens protector, you can keep it inside of here so you don't lose it and keep uh, try to keep dust off of it. Um, so if you're not familiar with uh, what ND filters are good for, basically what they do is they put... Uh, let me take one out for a demonstration. So this is an ND32, and you can see it's uh, quite dark. So the idea of these is that uh, basically it's like putting a shade in front of the uh, sensor and lens. And so what happens there is that... Uh, because you're putting a shade in front of the uh, sensor, the sensor has to stay active longer to receive the same amount of light as if it wasn't there. So because the sensor is open longer, when it captures the image, the image is more likely to have uh, motion blur from moving. and you're less likely to get jello because the uh, sensor is active while the entire image is being drawn as opposed to part of the image being drawn and then the sensor moves then the rest of the image is drawn and that's what you uh, that's how you end up with the uh, wobbly image uh, you might get still vibration in the video but you're not going to get that uh, really bad looking wobbly video that uh, everyone hates to see so that's an oversimplified explanation as to what is going on uh, when you use an ND filter but that's the basic idea and so let's just try to put one of these on see how it fits let's remove the included lens protector and now play this oh, fits pretty well no issues there and you can see how much darker that looks than the standard very clear one and in the uh, guide here it looks like they do have uh, some basic guidelines as to when you want to use the uh, different ones basically the brighter it is the higher the number you want to use I'm going to set the hopefully correct camera settings this time and then uh, apply the correct ND filter for the lighting conditions and the shutter speed, low ISO. We'll go to the camera, see a live view, and now we'll go to Pro Video, check the settings. This is where you change everything. So we'll do ISO 200, shutter speed 1 60th. Let's set the white balance at about 5,000. And you can see it's way overexposed, so let's take out an ND filter. It doesn't look too dark. Let's just see. 